over it last time, we are going to um, over the same sweep again that we did last week and we'll finish, we'll add a few more details in and we'll finish with a different pass. Um, so, from Carlson standing in headquarters position, we've been playing from week one, we showed you how to get this um, far side sleeve near side ankle with the De La Hiva hook in and we were looking on week one about how to keep this here. Okay, so then we looked at how to push on the leg to sit up and then from there we were looking for this um, dip and tilt to get Carl's knee to the mat and then we looked at how from that position he'll come back to combat base and then we locked in De La Hiva X and played the whole game from there and took him over. Um, last time I showed you this ball and chain sweep whereby from here, when I made that transition and I tried to dip and tilt car, I couldn't. And then from there, we went straight into the ball and chain sweep from there and he took a more and he had a pass. But we can go for that move on, our, on its own. We don't have to just use it um, as a, another road to go down from the, the dip and, and shelf. So say I was playing Galahiva, and I had the far side sleeve near side ankle. Okay, I can go straight into this sweep if I choose to. So let's look up on the details of how I was using it outside the Delaheva X guard system. So from there I'm pushing on this far leg. I take out the Delaheva hook and I use this as like an axe kick to come up. But as I come up and I hook around Carl's leg, remember we talked about how a reaction Carl can do is drive his knee towards my chest and I'm gonna to have to do something else from now, this sucks. You can tell by the tone in my voice. Take it back a step. So when I actually have my Delaheva hook in here and I push on the thigh and I axe kick down, the minute I hook this, I butt scoop and I cut a little bit of an angle. So now his knee's not into my chest, it's actually on the outside of my chest. And he drives through now. You know, I'm still gonna hit that kill sweep come up and take him over. So that detail when you're playing that sweep is super important. If you can understand at the start, you maybe don't realize how important it is. But when you're sparring from here, I do not want to be coming up with this knee driving into me. So that little butt scoop, see that I'm sitting on his foot. Any pressure Carl puts on me now is going past me, it's not going through me. So think about that. So again, from our position. So I push, and as I come up, this Delaheva hook comes out. I cinch to the side and make my grip. Now we talked about how I don't just do the pass off because they just rip his arm out. So we stuffed it between the legs and then I made a grip. But another thing I want to be thinking about too is I don't then do a pass off because now as I pass to my right to my left, Carl's already ripping that hand out. Sucks. So the minute I get to there, it's a two on one. I just let go of my wrist and I find so I have two, two grips on a sleeve. Then I find the collar. Now I push three pressures. So I pull on the collar, I push on the knee, and I pull on the wrist to put Carl onto his left side, and I take him over. From here, I'm gonna make use of this grip that's between his legs, and let's go straight into the cradle pass from here. So the right hand that has the collar just latches over the back of his head, and I'm gonna get hand to hand, like this. Okay, that's how mountain climbers climb mountains. It has to be the strongest grip. So we want this. I've seen people do this, I've seen people do this. I think this is best. So I make my grip. Now if you've noticed, my left leg has um, corral Carl's leg here, which makes the cradle really easy from that position. My head's in the shoulder. Anytime I walk car or bring Carl's head towards his knee, he is in an uncomfortable position. Now I'm gonna weave my second knee through and widen my legs. From here I let go, I win the underhook, my right hand replaces my right knee, I put my head on the mat and I jump to the other side and solidify the side control. Do that again. You need to put time into the sweep to get it. So we're starting off, Carl's in headquarters, Far side sleeve, near side ankle, everything we've been drilling so far. So I push and I axe kick up. This leg comes up. As I hook the leg, I cut a little bit of an angle. 
And now I stuff this between the legs. Okay. Then I do a double grip. Then I find the collar. If the collar's really high from there, I just push on that knee down and down. Then I have the collar. Three pressures. Pull on the collar. Pull on the sleeve. And put them on the side. Now sometimes when you take them over, I lose that leg. All right, see the way last time when I come up, my knee was between his legs. No problem if I've lost that. I just come up and I immediately hook the head, get that grip, and put my head in his armpit. Now from there, I'm going to tripod up. I haven't got control of Carl's right leg, so I'm going to walk his right knee towards his head and then bring my left knee in. Then I bring the second one in. Widen my knees to make them uncomfortable. Let go. Win the underhook. Now my right hand replaces my right knee as I put my head on the mat. Let's get another angle on that. Your car. So from Delaheva, far slide control, near side ankle. Push, axe kick down. As I hook the leg, I foot scoop to create that little bit of an angle. So I'm sitting on the spot. Stuff this between his legs and grab my own wrist. Then I do a two on one. Push on the knee. Find the collar. Pull. Pull on the sleeve. Elbow to my hip. Take him over. More than likely, you'll still have your leg on the inside. So when I come up, I just lock the cradle. Hand to hand. Walk my second knee in. Widen my knees, win the, the underhook, right hand replaces my right knee as I hop to the other side. 